Here's a review of the Sun Joe or Snow Joe. In this case, it's in a model. It's the 40 volt, 18 inch battery snow blower. This is a reconditioned one, so I just want to show you what you could expect. Uh, when I received this one, there's actually nothing wrong with it. Uh, I, th I think it's brand new, to tell you the truth. There's absolutely there's some little markings on it, but that's that's from shipping. I mean, when they ship you a reconditioned one, they don't have the exact best packing. They just pretty much put it in a box and ship it to you. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's brand new. It, it, it came with a battery, a uh, 5 amp, 40 volt battery that's brand new, packed in a box. Uh, so it's not a reconditioned battery, a used battery, it's a brand new battery with this unit at least. I think the reason why this was considered a reconditioned one was right here. The handle. Uh, when I first got this, both handles were like this. They didn't engage all the way. Uh, Snow Joe sent me a replacement handle on this side and it fits perfectly. But this side you can see doesn't. And in the process of shipping me this this handle, uh, I thought they'll ship both at the same time, but they were with the under impression that only one side was bad, so they sent me one. But I think that's the re only reason why this was returned by the customer is because they couldn't get the handle to sit in. I had to back off this nut all the way in order to get it to this point uh, because if it's just like this, there's no way you could latch this thing down. It, it, so this is the best I have and I'm just waiting for them to send me a new one. But uh, we're going to show you this performance in the snow. I was kind of hesitant. Is 40 volts enough? We do have the Snow Joe electric one, the 15 amp one, and then that thing just throws snow like no, no, no tomorrow uh, because electric motor snow blows have high torque and they have a lot of power, more so than a gasoline engine of the same size. So, And this one here comes with a nice light. And as you can see, it's got the joystick here. So by moving that joystick around, it moves this guy 180 degrees, which is very nice. You don't have to sit and grab this as you make a turn, you just use the joystick. Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with the uh, reconditioned one. It fires right up. And we'll show you what it looks like when we're doing some snow throwing. Okay, uh, we're gonna, you can see the, uh, the city left us a uh, present this morning. This is what happened last night. You can see how much snow we killed with this little guy. Just on one battery, and also did my neighbor's uh, uh, driveway too, so. Just slide the battery in. This is the five amp battery, so it's a little more powerful. Uh, you can see, I'm still waiting for the, uh, the handle on this side. They sent me this one here, so that's fixed. Still waiting for that one. But let's give you a whirl. Most, most of the time we're videotaping at night because we have most of the snow at night. You can hear the gas down there. But uh, let's turn this on. So push the button in. Pull the handle back. Very quiet. I mean, my neighbor says, boy, that's very quiet. But let me show you, I mean, it's pretty deep here. It's so light that you're not working against the weight in the machine or the, or the mechanism in the machine. You just push this thing and it's like a, it's like a broom. So it's very light. So the, the worst part of a snowblower is that you're working against a you know, 200 pound machine. This one here, if you hit a high spot, you could basically lift it up slightly and goes right over it and come back a second time. So. This is a high spot here. So if it's too high, you could, it's so light that you just push it over like this. And then go the second time.
put a snow gel reconditioned 40 volt battery operated snow blower. It should beat shoveling, doesn't it? It's very light, small, it doesn't, doesn't pick up that much room in the garage either because we store it, put it store like this. So that's what's nice about these things. And it does the job. I mean, this is a pretty rough snow that we've had and it did the job no problem. Uh, we had ice, sleet, crusty snow, deep snow. We had it all in one shot. This thing handled it. Uh, naturally, if it gets above, i uh, say above five inches, then you gotta do either two layers or bring out the big boy, you know, but for anything below five inches, this is fine. Uh, if you're gonna expect deep snowfall, like over six, seven, eight, nine inches, naturally, you know, do it, do it while the snow is falling, you know. Hit it the first time, hit it the second time. So you don't have, you don't let it build up unless it happens overnight. And then, you know, what's nice is that this one has a light here. So. It's a pretty good job of lighting up the area too. It probably eats up the battery, but uh, if you need it, you need it, so. So this is review. You see we got a two, two and a half car driver and a long sidewalks. We do both neighbors on both sides, so. This is all handled by this uh, snowblower. Thank you for watching.